You know that moment when your FPS tanks mid-fight, your inputs feel delayed and task manager shows your CPU screaming at 100%? That's not just your game being demanding, that's Windows wasting your performance on useless background tasks, hidden telemetry, and bad power settings. This guide isn't the usual closed chrome nonsense. I'm going to show you real fixes, new tweaks, hidden registry edits, and optimization strategies that cut CPU usage, reduce stutter, and give you headroom for pure gaming performance. By the end, your PC will feel lighter, faster, and ready to push frames instead of crunching background junk. Step 1. Power Plan Optimization most people run Balanced Power Plan by default, which constantly parks CPU cores and downclocks under load. That's a recipe for latency. Fix it. Open PowerCFG.CPL. Switch to High Performance or Ultimate Performance. Pro Gamer Tweak with Command Prompt Admin. This unlocks Ultimate Performance Mode. For even finer control, use Park Control by Bitsum to disable CPU core parking and frequency scaling. Your CPU stays fully awake and ready to handle spikes, reducing stutter in CPU-heavy games. Step 2. Disable Efficiency Cores for Intel 12th, 13th, or 14th Gen. If you're running an Intel Alder Lake, Raptor Lake, or the newer Lunar Lake CPUs, you've got two types of cores performance, or P cores, and efficiency, or E cores. Great for battery life and light multitasking, but not always great for gaming. Windows can sometimes mismanage thread scheduling, pushing demanding game workloads onto the weaker E cores. The result? Stutters, higher 1% lows, and uneven frame pacing. Quick fix. Open Task Manager, go to the Details tab, find your games.exe process, Right-click, Set Affinity. Deselect the E-Cores, leaving only P-Cores active. This forces the game to run on the strongest threads. Better fix, System-wide. Enter your BIOS or UEFI settings during boot. Look for CPU Core Control or E-Core Enable Disable. Disable E-Cores entirely if your PC is dedicated mainly to gaming. This prevents Windows from offloading heavy game threads to weaker cores and gives you smoother, more predictable frame times. Note, BIOS settings differ by manufacturer. Before disabling eCores globally, do a bit of research specific to your motherboard and CPU. For some workloads, like streaming plus gaming, eCores can still be useful, so weigh the trade-offs for your setup. Step 3. Strip Background Processes a surprising amount of your CPU isn't being eaten by your game, it's background junk. Services, update agents, telemetry pings, and random apps quietly run in the background, constantly stealing cycles that should be fueling your frames. Cutting these down is one of the fastest ways to stabilize performance. Quick fix, safe method. Press Win plus R, MS Config. Go to the Services tab, check Hide all Microsoft services. Important, don't disable Windows Essentials. Then, disable all non-critical services, like updaters, cloud sync tools, or printer helpers. Startup Cleanup. Open Task Manager, then Startup tab. Disable everything except GPU drivers, audio drivers, and apps you actually need at boot. Pro Gamer Trick. Deep Cut. Download Auto Runs, Microsoft Sys Internals. This tool reveals hidden scheduled tasks, telemetry hooks, and update agents that run without showing in Task Manager. Disable the ones you don't need. One-time cleanup here can save you from recurring CPU spikes every few minutes. This step frees up valuable resources, lowers background noise on your CPU, and ensures your cores are reserved for what really matters, keeping your frame time smooth. Step 4. Registry and CMD Edits for Scheduler Efficiency Windows wasn't designed with eSports level latency in mind. Its CPU scheduler is tuned for power savings and multitasking. That's fine for office work, but in gaming it means more stutters, delayed input, and background tasks stealing priority. With a few low-level tweaks, you can make the scheduler far more game-friendly. 1. Disable Dynamic Tick 
open command prompt as admin and run bcd edit slash disable dynamic tick equals yes. This forces the CPU to keep a consistent timing source instead of dynamically idling, which reduces micro latency during gameplay. 2. Force platform clock. Still in command prompt, run bcd edit slash use platform clock equals yes. This locks windows to the hardware clock instead of a synthetic one, shaving off jitter when threads swap. 3. Foreground Priority Boost Open Registry Editor and navigate, then find Win32 Priority Separation and set it to 26 HEX. This tells Windows to give your foreground apps, your game, higher CPU time slices than background junk. Note, always back up your registry before edits. These tweaks won't increase raw FPS, but will tighten frame pacing and reduce those annoying 1% loads. Step 5. Kill Windows Telemetry and Data Collection Windows ships with a ton of telemetry and diagnostic collectors that constantly monitor system behavior, log events, and phone home to Microsoft. While this data can help improve Windows, for gamers it often means extra CPU usage, disk writes, and random spikes at the worst possible times, like mid-match. Disabling or minimizing telemetry keeps your system leaner and more predictable. Quick fix. Go to Settings, Privacy and Security, Diagnostics and Feedback. Set Diagnostic Data to Required Only. This cuts out the optional, aka more invasive, background collectors. Service Method. Press Win plus R, Services.msc. Find Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. Set Startup Type equals Disabled. Also consider disabling Diagnostics Tracking Service if it's listed. Pro Tweak for Power Users. Download O and O Shut Up 10 Plus Plus, a free tool. It exposes dozens of hidden telemetry endpoints, scheduled tasks, and services buried deep inside Windows. With one click, you can kill everything Microsoft doesn't let you toggle easily. Step 6. Fix Windows Search and Indexing. Windows Search Indexer is a top culprit for random CPU spikes. Fix it by going to Settings, Privacy and Security, Search Permissions, and Disable Cloud Content Search. From the Services menu, you can disable Windows Search if you don't use it. For gamers, this alone can stop background indexing spikes during matches. Step 7. Audio and Network Optimizations Bad audio drivers and network settings can hog CPU cycles. Audio. Right-click Speaker, then Sound Settings, then Disable Audio Enhancements. Control Panel, Sound, Playback, Properties, Advanced, then Uncheck Exclusive Mode. Network. Disable Nagel's Algorithm. In Registry, for your active NIC, add DWords, TCP ACK Frequency equals 1, TCP No Delay equals 1. This reduces CPU overhead for online gaming and lowers input lag. Step 8. GPU Scheduling and Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling your GPU can offload scheduling from the CPU, reducing CPU overhead. Enable it. Settings, then System, then Display, then Graphics, then Default Graphics Settings, and finally, enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Registry Check. DWORD HWSCH Mode equals 2, meaning Enabled. Less CPU time wasted, more frames delivered. And that's it! Your full optimization guide for fixing high CPU usage and killing lag at the source. We didn't just scratch the surface, we went deep.
with power plans, registry edits, background service cuts, and even driver level tweaks. Do these once and your PC will run cleaner, leaner, and more locked in for gaming. No more task manager at 100%. No more random spikes. No more frame drops when you need them least. If this helped, smash that like button, subscribe for more real tweaks that actually work, and drop a comment telling me your CPU model and how much FPS you gained. Until next time, keep your CPU cool, your latency low, and your frames high.